What's up, beautiful people? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a collective reading for anybody and everybody who clicks on this video. Let's take a deep breath together. Inhale. And exhale. Thank you. Before we begin, as always, remember to only take what feels right and what resonates with you. Leave what doesn't for somebody else. Do not force anything to fit. Please hit the like button for me to show your support and to help push this video out to other people who need to hear these messages. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already, and if you feel called to, comment down below anything you want or to let me know how this message resonates with you. I do need to make a quick disclaimer that I have infused this reading with energy work, so some of you who don't like energy work or subliminals or anything like that, I'm telling you this now so that you can click off. I have infused this reading with the energy work of love confessions coming in, so you will receive love confessions from your people, from your person, from multiple people. There are love confessions coming in for you if you are here, okay? Because that is the energy that I am putting into this reading. If you don't like it, again, like I said, you are free to click off. Now is the perfect time for that. And I also want to ask that those of you, if you do get offended or upset by anything I say in this reading, please know that it is not intentional. And before you get out your Twitter fingers and start typing in the comments, I ask that you just click off of the video because some of you have much bigger fish to fry and much bigger things to deal with than creating imaginary beef with someone on the internet. A stranger you don't even know. You and I will never have beef. Whatever beef you think you might have with me is imaginary and it's one-sided. That is my piece. Let's move on to the reading. The title of this reading is You Deserve Courtship. And I've been getting this message for a few days, and I was going to do it yesterday, but I didn't have the energy to do it yesterday, and I do have the energy to do it today. So, you deserve courtship. And I was going to say you deserve to be courted, but then I realized that not everybody who watches me is the feminine energy. Of course, we all have masculine and feminine energy within us, but most of us, we resonate with feminine energy or we resonate with masculine energy, but we are able to bounce back and forth, right? We're able to have both and find the balance in our masculine and feminine energy but most of us will resonate with one side more than the other so i didn't want to say just you deserve to be courted because there's also going to be this message of you deserve to court someone else and for the masculines i'm telling you that you deserve to you deserve to court someone you deserve courtship for yourself as well it isn't hot gay to court somebody to want love and to date somebody. I know that there is this like energy when it comes to masculine energy of like you're lame, you're pussy whipped. Forgive my lyrics, forgive my words because that's just what came through. But you know what I'm saying where it's like, oh, that person is like in control over you. You're lame. You're this for courting someone else. But I'm here to tell you that you deserve courtship and you deserve to court someone else as well. It is not lame or whatever people are trying to project onto you. You deserve real love and real love is out there. And I know that real love exists because I am real love. And my entire life I've had people older than me project their own unhealthy relationships onto me and tell me that real love doesn't exist just because they haven't experienced it. But I am real love and I know that real love exists for me. And I know that I deserve courtship and that is what I require at this point in time in my life. I require courtship. I require commitment. I require all of these things that I am capable of giving to myself. And that's the thing. If you are here, if you are resonating with this, you deserve courtship for existing, but you deserve courtship because you are able to court yourself, because you're able to give yourself all of these things that somebody else will give to you and that somebody else you're asking to give to you, right? Okay, you deserve courtship. You deserve to be courted. You deserve to court someone else if that is your role in the situation as well. I wrote down a few channel messages and then we will pull cards. I also wrote down that some people are stuck in lust, but you are not. You deserve love. Let the people who are stuck in lust be stuck in lust. If that's their journey, that's their journey. Let them be stuck in lust. But some people are definitely stuck in lust. And I wrote down, you don't need sex. You need to stop numbing and start loving yourself because there are some people out here it feels like there's people younger but i guess it could be really anybody who i'm talking about who feel this need or this craving for physical human attention and connection which is valid because all humans desire human connection it is a part of the human experience to experience 
and to desire human connection. So that part is valid, but you don't need sex. I keep hearing some people in the collective being like, I just need to get laid. I just need sex. I just need, I just need. No, you don't. You need to stop numbing how you really feel and start loving yourself. And then you will attract partners who give you intimacy because sex and intimacy are not synonymous. Lust does not equal intimacy. And that's what I'm saying. I know I'm going to upset some people. I know it, but it's not my intention. If you feel some type of way about the things that I'm saying, check in with yourself, reflect. Why did this stranger on the internet saying this to me make me feel like this? Right. Continuing, I said that if I were to tell you some of the things that I have seen, heard, experienced, and know about sex, some of you would never want to have sex again. And I'm also getting this message about making sure that you are getting tested regularly if you are sexually active. And before you have sex with somebody, your guides are asking you to have the conversation about health, have the conversation about getting tested and STIs and STDs, right? Because your safety and your health comes first. Okay. I also wrote down women and feminine energy bond through sex, where masculine and men energy bond through commitments. So this is why it's really important for the divine feminines and the people who resonate with feminine energy, regardless of how you identify gender wise. Feminines bond through sex and bond through the physical connection but men in masculine energies do not. Man, man, men in masculine energies bond through commitments. And I wanna give you an example so that maybe you can understand. Think about the men or the masculine groups of people who like to work out and they're very committed to their fitness journey and they're very committed to their health in that way. You will find them forming groups, forming bonds with other people at the gym and other people who are into the gym fitness, health, lifestyle, because they're committed to that journey. So they're going to bond with people who are also committed to that journey, right? Does that make sense? And that's also, I'm also getting this message about job and career, which is part of what we're going to talk about in this reading as well. Some men and masculine energies bond through work and career because that's something that they are committed to. They're committed to their career path. They're committed to their job. They're committed to the business that they're running. They're committed to the money that they want to make. So they find bonds and connections through that. But most men and masculine energies do not care about sex. It's just a quick release for them. And a lot of them think that they can just get it from anywhere because look at the, look at the so social climate. Like a lot of times you can't just get it for cheap anywhere. But you and me who we're speaking to today, you are not cheap, right? Because if you want cheap, you can go and get it anywhere. But if you want divine, if you want real, if you want sacred, you came to the right place and you can't just get this anywhere, okay? I also wrote down, I wanna be more than friends. Whoever this love confession is coming in for, from whoever this love confession is coming in from, for some of you is somebody who you might be friends with. And I've been channeling, I wanna be more than friends. And this is how I personally feel too. So yes, I'm a part of the collective and sometimes I talk about myself because it's my page, it's my platform, it's my story, I'm allowed to do that, right? If you want something else, go to a different page, go to a different reader. But I want to be more than friends in a current situation for myself. And I also feel that for some of you, there are people that you are friends with or there is someone that you are friends with who wants to be more than friends and you want to be more than friends with them. I was channeling that very strongly. I want to be more than friends. But maybe they haven't come forward and told you this yet. I'm telling you, I put the energy work in for love confessions to come through if you believe it and if you will receive it, all right? But I want to be more than friends. I needed to light a new incense. Thank you for allowing me to do that. Thank you for your patience with me as I get through these channel messages. We will pull cards, of course. I'm almost done with the channel messages. And then the last thing I wrote down is that some people are choosing money and career over love. And I wrote down, if this continues, these people will miss out on some blessed connections right now. Because me personally, if you're going to choose money and career over me, I will distance myself from you because I value human connection and I understand that money is an energy and money will always be there. But love, it's fleeting. 
not all the time, but when it comes to these real love relationships and these real love connections, sometimes love is fleeting and you really need to act on it when it's there, when you're feeling it. Otherwise you will miss out on an opportunity and you never know the person that you had feelings for, but you were choosing money and career over will find somebody else because I know that I have a lot of past lives and that means I have a lot of past life soulmates. So when we come into contact, if you are choosing money and career over me instead of working on the connection, expressing your feelings to me, I will let you go because I'm not going to ever force anybody to stay in my life and I will never chase somebody to stay in my life. That is not me, that is not what I do, not anymore. If you would have come at me when I was like 18 to 21, maybe I would have done that, but I'm grown, I've evolved, I've experienced, I will not do that. I understand that what I deserve is something I'm able to give to myself and if I don't get it from somebody who is in my life currently, then I will get it from somebody eventually after I detach and disconnect from that relationship or that situation. So some people are out here choosing money and career over love. And I'm getting that for some of those people, it's going to bite them. They're going to think back years later and be like, I missed out on a great opportunity with somebody because I was too focused on money and career and I cared too much about money and career. And I keep trying to tell you guys that money and love are connected. Some people keep saying, I don't want love, I don't care about love, but money and love are connected. The money isn't going to fill the void. The money isn't going to fill that space in your heart. Love will, and loving yourself will, and loving yourself will attract people who love you naturally. And I also feel like for some of you, you're in connections with people who it might just be friends or there might just be flirting, and you're starting to see that like their money is going up, their career is getting better, and it's because you are in their life. Some of these people are not realizing that being connected to you and forming a connection and a relationship with you helps the money grow because like I said, love and money are connected. So what I'm getting is this person who might be choosing money and career over you does love you, does have feelings for you, but they're choosing to be like, I'm too busy, I'm too focused on work, I'm too focused on career to give you love, to give you attention, to give you what you need in this connection and they're not seeing that it's because of the love that they feel for you and the connection to you that the money is growing. Some of you are experiencing this too where your money is starting to go up. There's starting to be more clients. You're starting to make more money. There's opportunities for more money. Money is flowing in from multiple streams, different ways, things like that. And what I'm getting is it's because love is here and the love is going to help to amplify and expand money in both of your lives but for right now it feels like there's some masculine energies it feels like it's the masculines the masculines are choosing money and career and for some of them it's because they're afraid that they don't have enough money to court you or because they don't feel like they have enough money to provide for you but i'm here to tell you that if that's the mentality you will never have the right finances for that situation you will never have the money or the financial security to court the feminine because that's a lack mindset. Thinking that you don't already have it tells the universe to keep sending you more lack. And what I'm getting is these feminine energies don't care about the money. <laughs> like, of course, we want to be courted. We deserve to be courted. We want to go out on dates, but we are capable of providing everything for ourselves. Sometimes we're totally fine with not spending any money. We're totally fine with just like hanging out and going to the park and maybe just sitting and talking for an hour. We're totally fine with like a FaceTime conversation. We're totally fine with like a cheap meal. It doesn't always have to be hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars that you're spending on the feminine. And also the feminine will reciprocate financially. When the feminine has money, the feminine has no problem with reciprocating financially as well. It just feels like there's some masculine energies right here, right now that I'm tapping into are using career and money as a block to their own love. And they're not getting sex either. That's the guidance. Because I do feel like there's some people out here who just like really, really, really are desperate for connection and the masculine is not giving them the love, not giving them the connection, not giving them the relationship, not courting them because money and career are too much of a focus, but then they're still getting sex. And that's where I wrote down that the women and the feminine energy, that collective bonds through sex, but the men and the masculine collective does not bond through sex. They bond through commitment. So require them to commit to you before you give them up your body. And of course you have free will. Of course you have free will. But this is what I've learned over the years and this is what I've studied and researched over the years that works. The feminine requires commitment from the masculine. The feminine receives love and receives 
their emotions being cherished, and then the feminine is able to give love and give respect to the masculine because the masculine wants respect. The feminine wants the emotions to be cherished. The feminine wants to feel seen and heard and loved and cared for and appreciated in the connection where the masculine wants respect. But respect is earned, right? So that's my piece. Hopefully some of that is resonating for some of you and making sense for some of you. I don't really know who I'm talking to today. I just know that whoever I'm speaking to, you deserve courtship, you deserve to be courted. And if your current person isn't doing that for you, it will come from somebody else once you detach or disconnect from this situation. And for some of you, you are going to disconnect and detach from a situation where you're not receiving love, you're not receiving courtship, you're not receiving respect, you're not receiving your emotions being cherished. And so you will go somewhere else and find it from somebody else because you deserve courtship and you deserve commitment. I'm really proud of the feminine collective who is standing up for themselves and knowing their worth and knowing that they are able to provide all of this for themselves. You don't need anybody else to provide for you. You don't need anybody else to court you, to love you, to fill a void. You don't need anybody else. You've got it all. You're the complete package and the right one will see that. We're seeing planning, meeting, discussing. It feels like right here, right now, there is some people out here who are planning to court you or maybe you are somebody who is planning to court somebody else. You're like, okay, I need to see how this lines up in my schedule. And don't get me wrong, I understand that job and career and money is important, obviously, but it's not all there is. Human connection is so valuable. And I keep talking about how the human connection and the love will help to grow your money. But I see that there could be a masculine here or a feminine here or both who are very busy in their everyday lives. They have a business, they have jobs that require 40 hour work weeks. They have a lot on their plate. They have families. Some of you have families, you have children. Everything I say is going to resonate differently for all of you, but remember that I'm reading for a collective of people. So there are thousands of people who are getting these messages, which means I tap into different pockets throughout the reading. If it doesn't resonate, let it go. Obviously not all of you have kids or have a family, but I want to include those people too. Thank you. It just seems like with this planning card here, there is people who have busy schedules and they're trying to find a way to fit you into the schedule. That is coming through here. And like I said, this reading is infused with the energy of love confessions. So I feel like somebody's planning on asking you out on a date. Somebody's planning on coming in, expressing emotions, making a move, letting you know how they feel. Or this could be you planning on doing that. And it's like, okay, I have this going on this day, this going on this day. I'm busy from this day to this day, but I have time on this day. And that's the thing. If you're the masculine listening to me, the feminine just wants you to make time for them. The feminine just wants to feel like you care and like the emotions that they feel are cherished. It can really be as simple as taking an hour out of your day to call this person and be like, hey, just so you know, I was thinking about you. I can't wait until we get to see each other next but I have an hour now, so let's talk. How are you feeling? How's your day going? What's going on? If you're the masculine, it's time to take action on what you want, on who you want. And it's time to stop saying that because the bros think that you're gonna be whipped and the bros think that you're lame for wanting courtship and wanting to court somebody, it's time to let go of that. And it's time to stop thinking that you need more money or you need to be in a better place financially or you don't have time because you're so busy. It's time to stop that energy and it's time to take action on love that you desire and love that you deserve. All right, feminines, just know that there is someone planning. There is someone planning and preparing to come in. Tell me more what's coming out in the cards. Pop up. All of a sudden, unexpectedly, this person pops up. You could run into this person like out in public. It says unexpected visit. Look at this girl's eyes. This is how some of you are going to feel when you get this text message, when you get this phone call, when you run into this person on the street or wherever. It's gonna be like, oh my God, what? Like what? But see, we've been manifesting it. And this energy work that I'm doing is real. For those of you who it hits and for those of you who this manifests in your life, you're gonna be like, oh my God, the energy work is real. And some of you, you already know that the energy work is real. So it's already working on divine timing always. But this card says unexpected visit, spontaneous decision, surprise. And I'm getting that somebody is planning a pop-up in your life. Somebody is planning a pop-up here, or this is you planning to like pop up unexpectedly in somebody else's life, maybe with a gift, with a surprise. Somebody could have a birthday 
coming up or there could be like something about like a birthday party um, or some sort of birthday dinner because I'm seeing this cupcake here. Maybe bakery is significant or sweets are significant. I'm also getting something about like coffee could be significant here. Tell me more. I'm seeing the initial P could be significant as well, but it doesn't have to be. Tell me more about this. Entrapment. Wow. It says money. This is the very first card. The, I'm sorry, the very first word on this card is money. So I'm telling you, somebody feels trapped by money. It feels like this masculine is like trapping themselves with money. And it also feels like for some people who are choosing money over love, it's because they're afraid of being hurt. They're afraid of being rejected. They're afraid of actually letting themselves fall in love with whoever this is. Because if you're the feminine, I'm getting that you are real love. You are divine love. Your love is pure. Your love is alchemical, alkaline. What you were able to give to a connection is unlike anything that they've ever experienced. And I feel that they might be feeling the intensity of this connection. So they're using money as a way to self-sabotage, which is something that's coming up on a collective level, not just in terms of love. I do feel like there's manifestations coming in for people. There's blessings coming in from God. And there's things that we've been wishing for and praying for that are trying to come into our lives. And it feels like there's a lot of people trying to self-sabotage and trying to play themselves out because of whatever reason, but most of it is coming from a place of fear. But you don't have anything to be afraid of. You can't screw anything up with the right people. And sure, sometimes people only come into your life for a season, but why not embrace that season? Why not be present fully in that season? Why not feel and find the gratitude for that season with those people? Because you're going to learn so much. You're going to feel so much. You're going to heal so much. You're going to experience so much. Stop living in fear. Whoever I'm talking to, please stop living in fear. Choose faith over fear, please. Okay. The initial E is now coming up as well. The other words on here say pregnancy, clinging and heartstrings so that could resonate for some of you but i don't feel that that is what i'm mainly talking about so i'm not going to dive too much deeper into that it's just really funny to me that i was talking about the money in the career situation and then it says entrapment and the first word is money so that was confirmed by spirit thank you angels all right last card from this deck for this reading oh there's two wow we're seeing archangel Raphael, which is an archangel who brings relationships together so Somebody's name could be Rafa or Raphael, or some of you may work with Archangel Raphael, or you will after this reading, but Archangel Raphael is trying to bring people together right now. Definitely. Higher level soulmates, real love, twin flames, divine counterparts. I can feel that it's trying to come in, especially during November. Some of you might have November birthdays and this could resonate for you, but you don't have to, of course. It just feels like Archangel Raphael is trying to bring love in this season because we need it and because these people who are going to be called upon in these loving relationships are here to raise the vibration of earth there's so much darkness right now and love will heal the darkness love will bring the light to the darkness love is how you win the war love is how we win this battle because it does feel like there's spiritual warfare going on every single day if you're in the spiritual game you understand what i'm talking about but archangel Raphael is trying to bring people together for higher level connections, for real love, so on and so forth, like I was talking about. And it says helps to see the truth. So Archangel Raphael is here in this reading to help you see the truth and to help this person see the truth. But this card came out with the card that says signs. So I'm getting the Archangel Raphael is sending you signs and Archangel Raphael is sending this person signs as well. Some of you are definitely seeing the angel numbers more and more. I'm getting 10, 10, I'm getting 11, 11, 12, 12, 222, 999, 1222, all of them, 1212. There's so many signs and synchronicities that you and this person are seeing. It just feels like for some reason, somebody is ignoring the signs that they're seeing because it's almost like they don't want it to be true because if they allow it to be true, then it's real, right? But right now they're in a place where they can keep themselves trapped or keep themselves stuck and just think about money or just think about career or just think about something else other than this relationship with you because the signs make it real. But the signs are telling them the truth. And that's a part of what Archangel Raphael is doing, bringing in signs for all of us to see the truth about love and the truth about connections. There's a lot of signs and synchronicities that both you and your person are seeing. And I'm getting that you're not crazy. If you're seeing the signs, they're also seeing the signs. If you're thinking of that person, they're also thinking of you. If you're manifesting a love connection, a love message, they're also manifesting that. But the thing is, the feminine is not the one to approach. 
The feminine does not pursue. The feminine receives and attracts. The masculine takes action. The masculine pursues and goes after what they want. And if this person isn't going to do that for you because they're still in the planning phase, but it does look like they're going to pop up unexpectedly, but if they don't, then let it go. Detach from it and somebody else will give it to you. Yep, there's beeping outside to confirm that for me. If you don't get it from this person, you will get it from somebody else because you deserve it and because you're able to give all of this to yourself. Everything we're talking about here today, you're able to give it all to yourself. You can give yourself the love. You can give yourself the courtship. You can give yourself the financial security. You can give yourself the physical affection. You can give yourself the dates. You can give yourself the flowers. You can give yourself all of the things that you are requesting from the universe, from your partner. And like I said, if some people don't feel like they wanna give it to you or they don't have the money to give it to you or they're just not going to give it to you, then cut them off. Stop waiting around for somebody to change. Stop waiting around for somebody to give you everything that you're able to give to yourself because somebody will give it to you. Like I said, if it's not this person, it will come from somebody else. And some of you like myself have more than one soulmate. I believe that we all have more than one soulmate and not every soulmate or person who comes into our life is meant to be a romantic situation. Sometimes these soulmates are platonic. Sometimes these soulmates come in to teach us lessons, things like that. But you have more than one soulmate on this earth. So if this person isn't going to give it to you, somebody else will come through. And then there was a horn honking from a truck. So even further confirmation, but even further confirmation of the signs that are coming in for you and this person. All right, let's see what the tarot has to say. I'm hearing when Harry met Sally, somebody's name could be Harry, somebody's name could be Sally, um, that movie could be significant. We're seeing the Page of Pentacles. This is somebody coming in here with an offer, somebody here communicating. It's like small talk, small conversation, a small message, but there is somebody here who's been planning to come forward, to approach you, to let you know that they have feelings for you, that they want to date you, that they want to court you, so on and so forth. I'm also getting something about Bridgerton, and I'm getting you deserve a Bridgerton kind of love. You do. And let's be real. Obviously, love isn't going to be easy, and love isn't always rainbows and butterflies. There's obviously going to be little arguments. There's going to be things that pop up that we have to work through in the relationships. I'm not here to say that everything is going to be cupcakes, super sweet, amazing, perfect all the time, and when it starts. You know what I mean? But you get what I'm talking about. And then I'm seeing the sun card here. You make this person really happy. You light up a lot of things in their life and you're bringing a lot of blessings into your life. I'm literally a lot of blessings into your life and a lot of blessings into their life. What was I hearing? You're their lucky charm. Like I said, the money is going up for them. Their business is picking up. They're getting more busy at work. They're up for a raise or a promotion at work. There's, there's more calling on them in their work and career life and in their money financial life as well because you are the good luck charm because of you so if they don't commit to you if they don't start appreciating you and cherishing your emotions and giving to you the way that you deserve all of that's going to be taken away it won't be able to be sustained without your energy is what i'm getting and we're seeing the wheel of fortune like i said all of that will be changed all of that will be taken away from them if they want to stay trapped and if they want to stop if they want to start if they want to continue to use money and career as an excuse then when you leave all of that will change but i am getting for most of you this person is like okay i see the truth i hear the truth i hear what you're saying i value you i appreciate you i want to cherish your emotions i'm going to come in i'm going to come in i'm going to confess my love to you i'm going to ask you on a date i'm going to court you i'm going to make the move I'm going to get over my fears. And when they do that, that's when everything changes. That's when life changes, which is a big part of the fear here too, because it does feel like there's some people here who are really trying to hang on to their singlehood out of fear. But it's time, I feel, for the single journey to end for so many. It's time for real love to come together. It's time for these higher level soulmates. It's time for the twin flames because the twin flames are actually the spiritual warriors. They're the people who are on the front line of the spiritual battlefield who need to come together around this time to illuminate the darkness and to help fight this spiritual battle. The higher level soulmates is a different situation. And this is just my beliefs and my opinions. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But some people have a really twisted view of the twin flame and they think that it's completely purely romantic and it's not. There's a lot of spiritual war that's fought through the twin flame journey.
and there's a lot of spiritual warrior energy that I get from the twin flame journey. It doesn't feel very romantic, actually. I'm sure there is some romance in it, but it feels very spiritually necessary for the spiritual war. It feels very warrior-like, very um, go to war-like. Someone might have a military background. I'm getting like Marines, Air Force, Navy, Army. Something about the military could be significant here for you, your person, or both of you. But like I'm seeing here, it's time for things to change when it comes to love and when it comes to singlehood. But obviously that's a fear here too because this person does love you and or you do really love this person and you will. The more that you get to know each other, the more that this relationship develops if you don't already know each other that well. And that's when everything changes because obviously when you're single, you're really just focused on yourself, focused on your own responsibilities. But when there's somebody else in the mix who you're in a relationship with, you have to water the connection in order for it to grow. Think about a plant. If you get a plant and you never water it, what happens? It dies. It's the same thing with a relationship. Relationships deserve to be nurtured and cared for and watered so that they can grow. I'm getting something about time here too. Part of this entrapment energy feels like time. Somebody's like, I don't have time for dating, but you do. Time is a man-made construct. Time does not exist. You always have time. It's just you have to make time for these things. And so it feels like some people are just refusing to make time for you or some of you are refusing to make time for love, but fate is here. Destiny is here. The wheels of fortune are stepping in. Archangel Raphael is here being like, you need to make time for this relationship, for love. It's time to make time for love, right? And I know this reading isn't going to resonate for everybody, but it's a very powerful energy that I'm tapping into and I needed to deliver these signs and deliver these messages to the collective. All right, any other messages coming out in the tarot? We're already here for 30 minutes. I didn't know we were gonna be here this long. I thought maybe like a 10, 15 minute video. No, 30 minutes. There's so much energy to work through here. There's so much information, but I do see that you and this person who we're talking about will be in a committed relationship. This person is going to offer you commitment. This person is going to confess their love to you. And if you are the person who is confessing the love, taking the action, pursuing the person, then that applies in this situation for you too. Just remember to flip the roles of what I'm saying, okay? If, that, if that's how it resonates. But the King of Cups is somebody who loves you. The King of Cups is somebody who loves love. The King of Cups is somebody who deserves courtship and who deserves to court somebody. This is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. I'm also seeing Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius. Those are all the signs I'm seeing. And then the title card is at the bottom of the deck. I keep this card in here for titles, relationships, contracts, deals, things like that. And I'm getting that the signs are pointing to this person committing to you and offering a relationship to you or the signs are trying to get you to commit to this person to offer a relationship to this person because there genuinely is something here the hierophant's coming after it it feels like god brought this person in your life or yeah god brought you into their life both both apply both are correct but the hierophant is divine god creator source energy and it's also higher levels of commitment and it feels like now is the time for higher levels of commitment when it comes to love to manifest and to be solidified in the 3d so that we can raise the vibration of this earth and so that we can illuminate the darkness and so that we can spread love and teach that real love exists and that real love is out there some people are just stuck in lust and some people are stuck in fear but this love that's going to come together through this reading is going to help get people out of fear and it's going to help people see the faith and see that real love exists and know that it's possible for them too because you are going to be the light that leads the way for others and your relationship will be the light that leads the way for others. This feels very spiritual. The Hierophant is also um, like a spiritual divine counterpart as well. And I'm getting a lot of um, angel references, a lot of like 5D connections manifesting into the 3D. So this feels like some of you already know who this person is, um, but maybe haven't been connected to them in the physical world or not as much physical connection. It feels like there's a lot of telepathy going on here. 
So some of you might already resonate with like seeing this person in your dreams or telepathically communicating to them and they are telepathically communicating to you too. I'm getting something about the feminine wakes up to the connection before the masculine does. So if you do resonate with being the feminine energy, it can be difficult sometimes because as the feminine, you get the downloads, you get the activation before the masculine does and you tend to know about the connection before the masculine does, but you can't explain it to the masculine because then you look crazy. Then the masculine is like, what's going on? You're being clingy, you're being weird, I don't know. So you have to let the masculine figure this out on their own, right? It's tough being the feminine, I relate, because I am the divine feminine in my love connection. Of course, I'm both divine feminine and divine masculine as well, but in whatever love I'm supposed to be in, in this earth, on this earth, in this lifetime, it is me being the divine feminine because I am a healer, I am a freedom fighter, I am a light worker, and I deserve and need a masculine who is going to protect me and protect my emotions. And so I just keep getting this message that the feminine has already woken up to this and the masculine is like putting all the pieces together now. Let the masculine figure out on their own. Let the masculine approach you. Try not to give any advice to this masculine. Try not to go out of your way to communicate to this masculine. Let them approach you. Let them come to you. Let them pursue you. And if you are the masculine who is waking up to this connection with your person, it does feel like it's time to get out of the planning phase and to approach your person and to let them know how you feel and to offer a relationship and offer a commitment, okay? I'm gonna pull time frame cards, I guess, but I really do feel like it's November that this is happening. It could also be December as well. I'm getting a lot of like holiday energy. You may have met this person in October or you may have realized that this was a connection, that this was love in October. Some of you are going to be hearing from this person overnight. In the morning, you're going to wake up to a text or a call or something from this person. I'm telling you that the energy work that I've infused in this reading is going to work for some of you and it's going to work for some of you exponentially, expeditiously. All right, Spirit, give me some time frames for this connection, for this reading. On the first, somebody's birthday could be on the first. Oh, tomorrow. I'm also seeing 4th of July, which doesn't feel like a time frame. 4th of July feels like excitement. It feels like something is about to like explode, um, a new beginning, a new start within a love connection or for love in your life. That's what 4th of July feels like, but it can resonate for you in any way, of course. If it resonates for you differently, then you let me know. I'm also seeing on the 16th, so November 16th could be significant. And I am getting a lot of messages about the upcoming full moon is going to help bring this person towards you because the moon is feminine and the moon is going to be very powerful during this full moon in Taurus. And I do feel like some of these masculines are like, where's the sign? Where's the sign? Even though they've gotten hundreds of signs. And then this full moon is going to be like, this is your sign. Make a move, dude. <laughs> so the 16th could be significant, like the morning of the 16th. Uh, but I also am seeing the first, so December 1st or any month on the first could be your birthday and then i'm seeing tomorrow and like i said some of you this will happen over night you will hear from this person tomorrow okay so i really hope that this helped you i'm sending you love always take care of yourself stay hydrated and i will see you next time peace